Hey everybody, Ron Burke from GamingTrend.com here with a bit of a look behind the scenes. We do a lot of video editing around here, whether it's gameplay footage, interviews, previews, or hardware reviews like this one. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a device that promises to speed up my editing process, but also serves as a control surface for streaming, picture and music editing, and more. This is the LoopDeck CT, the latest control surface from a team by the same name. Let's get into it and see why this could be a must have for content creators and the big reason that might give you pause. We're gonna jump right into the software and start configuring the LoopDeck CT. Setup is a breeze, there isn't any. Just install the software, plug in the device, and you're off to the races. Quite a few profiles are built in right out of the gate, but you'll wanna make sure you grab the latest firmware update to take full advantage. Out of the box, the LoopDeck CT supports Adobe Lightroom, Photoshop CC, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro X, Illustrator, Streamlabs, OBS, After Effects, Twitch, and some general operating system controls. A quick trip to the third-party downloads gets me access to Blackmagic's DaVinci Resolve. Let's get into configuration. The software is simple, but very, very deep. Here we are adding a function to switch desktops to the touchscreen jog wheel. Using a little drag and drop, it's as simple as what you see. I love using Windows V, but as you can see, it's not a function that's defined in the loop deck. No biggie. We'll use a custom button and simply capture the button press. With Windows V, I have access to the clipboard of the last 10 objects I copied, so it comes in handy when quickly working through the editing process. Now I have access to it without moving away from the control surface. Switching gears, let's get into Lightroom Classic. I've purposely mangled the colors on this picture. Now watch how quickly I can move through different color wheels on the right. Without ever taking my hands off the control surface, I'm able to fix the color scheme. Swiping up and down on the jog wheel pages through the various functions like exposure and contrast. No mouse or keyboard required. Undoubtedly because of copyright, none of the icons you expect are here, but you can fix that in a hurry. Grabbing some transparent icons, it's as simple as dragging in and dropping whatever you'd like. This is especially useful for Twitch, where you'll need to be able to change things quickly. Firing up DaVinci Resolve, we can see quite a few functions predefined and ready to go, albeit those same missing icons. Bringing up some footage, we can see that you can jump in between established keyframes with a simple click of the knob, jogging back and forth through footage until you hit precisely where you want to be for edits. Switching to the color tab, we see limited functionality. The wheels don't directly control the color like it does in Lightroom. But what you can do is get your mouse in position over the dials and then use the jog wheel to more precisely control your adjustments. It's imperfect, but it's a work in progress. So I've been using the LoopDeck CT for about a month now. I've used it for streaming, I've used it for photo editing, and I've certainly used it for video editing, including this one right here. It's the only control surface that I'm aware of that can do all of these things and more. So what's the hesitation? Well, other than the work in progress that is DaVinci Resolve support, it's the cost. The LoopDeck CT will set you back $549, which admittedly, that's a lot of money. Compared to Blackmagic's own Speed Deck, which costs $300 and only controls one app though, maybe it's not so much of a stretch. 
you'll have to make a judgment call whether or not the additional speed and flexibility works for your workflow. For me though, it absolutely has. I'm Ron Burke, Editor-in-Chief for GamingTrend.com. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing because it appeases the YouTube algorithm gods, and that helps us out. Stay safe out there, happy editing, and we'll see you again very soon.